For a goblet squat, what you want to start off with is a good tall posture with both points of contact of the dumbbell on the chest. So you're going to have your hands on the top part of the dumbbell, have it upside down, elbows clenched to the bottom part. From here you're going to have a posterior weight shift which just means you're shifting your weight backwards. So you're breaking at the hips, setting them back and bracing your abdominals so you're on that slight forward lean with the chest. Now looking from the front what you want to do is actually have the knees out over the toes. So they're actually going out, that's going to engage your glutes a bit more and as you come down you're pulling on down with the hamstring and driving up with the quads squeezing the glutes from the bottom up. Now when you're looking at the feet position what you want to actually look at is have being a tripod foot so where you should have your big foot um, a big toe on the ground, sorry, your pinky toe creating a web foot as well as the heel. So that's creating that tripod um, image in your head where your foot's creating a tripod. So that's just going to create more tension for your hips and quads throughout the movement and create more muscle tension. Um, you can use a light dumbbell as well as a heavy dumbbell depending on the weight, uh, the goal of the session. So if the reps are higher, like 8 plus, you'll use a lighter dumbbell. If it's heavier, you might go the heavier option.